Okay, so I finally finished my Tesla coil. My good one. See, those are my old capacitors. They barely even worked at all. So I bought these new ones. There's 10 of these 20 kilovolt capacitors. And then, so yeah, the, that's what's powering it basically at this point. But, well, actually, that's what's powering it, but those are providing the extra power to run it. And this is my spark gap right here. Yeah, it's not the prettiest looking spark gap. And then that's the primary. This is the secondary. And this little wire goes in here, which comes up here, because it's the ground wire. And if I don't do this, it short circuits over my coil because it's eating away the insulation. And that's my top round thingy. So, I'm going to turn it on here really quick to show you what it does. Here, so here goes. Maybe. Takes a second sometimes. Hold on, my spark gap's too far apart. I guess get closer. Here it goes. There we go. It's really, really loud. But that's working on my Tesla coil. So yeah, that's my Tesla coil. Okay, so I forgot to show you some other stuff. He's being my assistant right now, and he's gonna turn it on for me. So turn it on really quick. I'm going to show you what it does with this light bulb. Okay, go. You got, no. Okay, yeah, twist it. Twisting, it's not twisting. This way? Yeah. Yes, that way. Okay, I'm going to stick this right out. See? It's not even touching it. Ooh, it lights up pretty far away now. But if we get it close enough, it should. Oh, ah, there we go. Getting some sparks now. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh, it's arcing through my thingy. Yeah, it's arcing through the plastic right there to my primary, which is not a good thing. So I guess I'm going to have to stop. But yeah, that's what it does, and I've got to fix that. So yeah.